Wow, coffee time friends. How y'all doing? It's finally happened. Lasagna. Mama's been talking about lasagna. We had some hamburger meat left. She said, would you like for me to fix a lasagna? I said, whatever gave you that idea, Mama, because I've been begging for it. <laughs> there she is, working up the storm. Mama, tell them what y'all are doing. Fixing the meat and the sauce for your lasagna. Tell them what you got going on in that pot. I've got some ground chuck, onions, coffee, and I've cooked it down, and now I'm doing the quick, easy, preco step. Well, that's fine. That's fine, Mama. We'll take quick, easy, prego tonight. Yeah. We'll take it anytime, actually. Um, we do homemade bread sauce sometimes. But we ain't above using a jar, folks. I'm just telling you. I'm all about the quick and the easy a lot of times. Now, I'm just cutting these cherry tomatoes, whatever they may not be cherry. These may be grape. It doesn't say. These little tommy toes. That's what we call them. I'm cutting these little tommy toes in half because I'm going to throw together a quick salad. Mama, do you want any special dressing tonight? I just thought I'd use this bottle of Italian. That's fine. Now, Mama shows you this bowl that uh, one of the people sent. It is the about the XOX brand. OXO brand. Same thing, different order. <laughs> it's a chopper bowl. So I'm going to try chopped salad tonight. Can't wait. Um, normally, I don't cut my lettuce with uh, metal. But in this case, when you're doing chopped salad... You're not planning on saving it. If you're planning on saving it, you want to tear your lettuce or something because they'll bruise less. But I'm wanting chop salad tonight. And I'm just cutting up a few of these tomatoes. And I cut them all. Who knows? What do y'all think? Lasagna is one of my favorites. We're making a small one. We're not making a huge family size tonight because it's just me and Mama eating. And we just want... What are you going to do? A nine by nine? Uh, it's an eight by eight. Eight by eight. Square dish, I got. Square dish. Square pirates, it looks like. That's what she's got out here. Um, you could use that bread when you got that big one if you want a little bit more room. Uh, I think this will be more than enough for a smell. More than enough than for a smell? Is that what you said? For us to make. Oh, for us to make. I thought you said that for a smell. Well, it'll be a smell. <laughs> it sure won't be those lasagnas Mama used to make. She used to make two number thirteens or something when she made lasagna because uh, we'd have people over and Dad would eat it, I'd eat it, I'd take it to work, Dad would want it for lunch. Lasagna was one of Mama's most sought after meals for a while there because she makes it, we like it. And y'all may think, well, she didn't do much different, but it doesn't matter what you do. It's like ice cream. I love vanilla ice cream. And people say, would you order vanilla ice cream at some big ice cream store? I said, sure would. Now, I will order other flavors. But a lot of times, I'll order other flavors. And I'll say, put me a scoop of vanilla. And then, put those other flavors. And I kind of want that scoop of vanilla. Because I know, no matter what else I may venture out and try, I know the vanilla is going to be good. That one's a little soft. I would try it. Raspberry, I guess. Mama would try raspberry. She says that. She talks a big talk. But when we go, I said, Mama, they've got raspberry whatever. She'll say, I don't know if I like the rest of that. I try to get her to venture out sometime. But what does Mama usually get? Chocolate. Chocolate. Exactly. Can I use my tomato? What do you want? These smaller? Yeah, I want them to fit the bowl. Well, I can help you with that. So, we'll just cut these in about half. Well, not hardly half, I don't think. Oh, she picky. Well, I want to cover the bowl. How's that? Oh, you're doing good. Now, give me another one. There you go. So, we'll use this part over here. Now, if you got the big 9 by 13, you don't have to worry about this hot mess. No. You don't have to worry about cutting them. Okay, you can shut on that one while I lay her 
Well, let's let them concentrate on what you're doing, Mama, because I want them to see this beautiful zone. All I'm doing is taking this sauce and laying it slowly here. Now, I'm going to take. Or mix it and then sprinkle on first. Mix it all up. And all I'm doing is just sprinkling some of this cheese. And I need another layer. I've got them ready, Mama. Right on the ball here. Mama, something happened to your noodles. Oh, I fixed them in there and I didn't take them out and stir them like I should. I believe that may have been the case because I've got one here that's non-cooperative. Non-cooperative. I can understand. But I got you fixed. Oh, you're doing good. I got you fixed up. You're doing good. I love having a job like this to do. I could have probably been a good assembly line worker. Just yeah, give me a chance. What do you say, Mom? Go ahead, just say it. <laughs> I mean, you keep go ahead, speed. Mom. I hear you. Let's talk. Go ahead. I'm just going to put a slice of American down. Y'all think I could be fast is what she's trying to imply. No, you flat out said it, Mom. Right in front of all my friends and everything. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, you ain't. Assembly lines is usually really, really fun. So what's that mean? You keep saying it. What are you saying? I'm ahead of you. Well, you can't do no assembly line work because you way behind. I know it. What do y'all think she's trying to say? It ain't fast enough. It's Mama, we noodles. hear you. You don't want noodles now, do you? You want meat sauce or more noodles? More noodles. Oh, you're about out of noodles, so don't get too noodle crazy. Oh, we got some for the top. Save some good ones for the top. <laughs> now, my noodles ain't good enough. I'll give you these scraps, Mom. That's good. I'll Let's show you. I'll show you. You're talking about speed. How was that for speed? That speed. Oh, Lord. What a time. So you're just layering, layering, layering. Mm -hmm. No ricotta, please. No ricotta. No cottage cheese, no please. No cottage cheese. I've just got cheddar and uh, mozzarella. mozzarella and Mexican four cheese. Yeah, and American cheese. And American cheese. Cheesy, 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 please. Cheesy, cheesy, please. Cheddar makes it better. You want the mozzarella or mozzarella on top? On top. Mm -hmm. okay. Here's your last of your noodles, Mama. You did you fix them up? I think the bowl's gonna be full. I'm just a wonder. And this one's that double layered. I don't know how we end up with a double layer noodle. It's stuck the on me. Cut that off. And just leave that right there. Oh, I can tell that dirty look I got. Oh, I didn't give you no. Mama, I felt it. Oh, you felt it. It was so strong. I could feel it. Coming right across your face, that dirty look. Now, see, I patched it up and still didn't use that double noodle. The double noodle is probably okay to just be thicker. I'm gonna just use all this sauce. It won't be thicker. Nothing else. No. Oh. It'll just make it juicy. That sure does look good, Mama. Clang that some more. They love when you clang those well, metal strings. They, they calm me and tell one of us they love it. I'm glad. 
send us. What? Baby. Oh, my oven. Your AC bag. Well, I don't, I don't like that. Well, you don't, you don't set the time for long enough. You gotta set that timer for. I usually just go ahead and put it on there for like 45, 50 minutes and that way it goes right up and then you readjust it when you put your goodie in there. You have the best of both worlds that way. Mm -hmm. All right, mama. That's it, folks. Now she's gonna put one more layer of cheese. Let me get you down where I can see ya. Now I want lasagna, Ella. That's what happened to me. One of y'all mentioned you was having lasagna about two weeks ago, I think. And ever since then, I've been thinking, Mama, we need some lasagna. Hey, Mama, we need some lasagna. This is one of the cheese. Mama, kindly come through with that lasagna. Mama, this is the best day ever. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of Parmesan. Parmesan, Parmesan. Good old fashioned Parmesan. They are, and they're, it's embarrassing when you're trying to open them in front of all your friends. I'm going to open this before it embarrasses me in a little while. <laughs> this is Kirk's Italian. I like it for marinade. But I like it for salad too. I kind of had in mind tonight. This would kind of be like that famous garden place. Famous garden place. That people like to eat and they get that wonderful salad brought to the table. Except mama don't like black olives. Now look here. So on top she put a little fresh grated parmesan and some mozzarella. And that's it. See, it's not complicated at all. Now, I don't know about you all, but I think even a household of one could make this little lasagna and eat on it for a couple of days, maybe freeze half of it. And would that not be delicious? Now, anytime I put lemon to pull over something like this, I like to take my finger around the inside of it and just do that right there. Because if anything condensation comes up, It'll go back down in there and not come over and roll Here we go. roll out on the oven. Now I'm gonna chop this on it. And I hope I don't get carried away and start like I do on the chopper, the Tupperware chopper, and pull that string. Cause this is a, oh, you could do breadsticks with this little thing. Look at that, be perfect. And I'm sure mama will use it, but it's a good heavy piece of of them. I could dumplings with it. You could dumplings with that. Mama's already calling it a dumpling cake. We thank you We got for the so gift. much cheese in the lasagna. Do you want any cheese left out for your salad? Yeah. What? Cheddar? Uh, whatever you want, but yeah, we're going to have a little cheese on our salad shortly. There's some leaves that don't look the best, but this head, head's been open for a day or two. Now, I want to try this. So I, I'm just putting my lettuce right in here. And here we're gonna chop. Now I'm not putting the tomatoes in yet. But look at this. Look at the view. Now you can use this for tons of things. In fact, it came with a book. It gave me all kinds of ideas. Um, but the person who sent it said, not to mention their name, they were just wanted to, us to use it. But I'm gonna tell you the I hope they don't get aggravated for me telling this part. Uh, the back story is, you remember when I was making them chopped sandwiches and I made that one and I chopped all that stuff up on the cutting board and it looked a little disgusting and Mama was behind me going. <laughs> they said they was inspired because they had one of these and said, John, I figured if anybody needed one of them chopping bowls, you did to chop your sandwiches up. So next time I make one of those, I'll have something to use. Now see, this is going to be a, a perfectly chopped salad. Just like you buy uh, when you go to those nice restaurants. When you go to those nice restaurants, they serve you them chopped salads. 
I guess they figure you're paying so much, they don't want you to have to chew your salad dick. <laughs> Y'all know the places I'm talking about. I don't, I've only been to one. One time and it was, it was a, 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 a party situation. That's beautiful. Now these tomatoes, I've already prepared them. And just a little bit of red onion. And I'm just gonna put that right in there. This is going to, This is quick and easy, folks. This is one of those blind, uh, mind-blowing experiences where you think, wow, did he make that that quick? He did. And you could um, add anything you want to. You can put anything you want to in here in the salad line. If I had fresh cucumbers or just store-bought cucumbers, I would probably put a cucumber in, but I didn't have one. But if I had, if Mama would let me, I'd put black olives. And some croutons, and we got croutons, so we will add a few croutons, but uh, basically black olives and some Italian dressing, and I'm going to put cheddar cheese. I can go ahead and put a little sprinkle of that in here now, and then when we get it out, we'll already have it out. So that's a beautiful salad. You can eat with your eyes first on this one. Now, yeah, it would be pretty if the bowl was completely full, but we don't need a full bowl. But this bowl is thick. Now we're not selling these or anything, but it's a good chopper. Thank you, thank you for thinking of us. And I just want you to know we are using and glad to have it because there it is, it's wonderful. Let's look at y'all now and talk a minute. We don't have anything to do while we like wait for that lasagna to get bubbling and brown. Once it gets bubbling and brown, we'll pull it out and eat it. I like cabbage better than lettuce. Uh, Deanne, who said that? Come back here. Doreen. Doreen, I like cabbage, purple cabbage in my salads. Stay with you. Um, you can, you know, you can make coleslaw on this. The book said so. Uh, it'd be a good coleslaw maker. And it would remind me of my granny's. My granny had a knife of a thing. It was that big and that thick and it was rounded. And she would put it in that bowl and do the same thing I do with that roller, except she would just keep doing that knife of a thing. Chopper, I guess you would call it. And that's how she made her slaw a lot of times. I'm watching Mama. And we made the kraut too. Mama says how they make kraut too. She would make her chopped slaw sometimes. So that's how I got to liking coarse slaw, fine slaw, all the slaws. Uh, and sometimes I like them real chopped, real, real coarse. Uh, and I like them on hot dogs, you know, with that, that way. Look at this. This is just like that. Matching. Oh my goodness. We got matching salad plates tonight. Matching salad plates and matching dinner. You want two forks, one for yourself? Mm, let me think, Mama. Do I need two forks so I can get fancy? You're gonna have to wash both of them no matter how fancy you eat. So I'm just gonna. She I, laid out two for. Mama, we don't need two for. I got you ready so you can not mix it. We need a paper towel. Because oh. we had a napkin. I'll get some napkins. <laughs> with, with fancy for. I'm not eating with two forks. Even when I go to those restaurants that give me an extra salad fork, I don't normally use it. Is that like really bad? I never could figure out when you're using it, you're eating it at the same time. But, you know, I think what they do that for is for a salad course. So you eat your salad and let your fork go back with the bowl. Now, that I would do. But if I'm going to sit here and eat the lasagna and the salad at the same time, I'm not coordinating it, uh, coordinated enough to be flipping forks. Somebody tell me how bad off that is. I've scrubbed y'all up. Is that bad? I mean, like, do y'all think, he's just trash. Or y'all like, no, wouldn't either. Lasagna, you have, you have craved that. What? I have. Thank you, Loretta, for recognizing my suffering. Your suffering. Oh, Lord. Mama's laughing at my suffering. Um, now, Mama is 
This is sweet as, as honey. But she can be hard, too. She, she can put you right in your place sometimes because she like toughen up, buttercup. Uh, get over it. That's what I was told as a child when I found it's got my name. Is it bleeding? It'll be all right. Go on. Get over it. She was told, she said, and she fully implemented it in my childhood. If it wasn't major, you can't go to Is that all the croutons you want us to have? Yeah, that's what I found in there. They sit back like the boys. One, two, three, oh, four, five, five six. It'll take y'all know how I am. It'll take me half the evening here to find them tongs. Let me find them tongs. There. There. So here that well, they're not tongs. They're these kind of spoons, salad spoons. You know. Y'all knew what I was looking for. There's one of my cooking towels. I ain't done another thing tonight to the reckon. Mama said I took my cutting board, which usually is a good sign I'm finished. But sometimes not, because she has taken stuff like knives and stuff out of my hand while I was chopping. What are y'all cooking? Why dirty more silverware? Exactly, exactly. excuse me, I got the hiccups. Uh, chopped apples and salad is fantastic. How about that one? She took my stuff. But she used it, didn't she, on that noodles. Okay, let's just do this a little apple. I'm all for it. Let's just cut this apple right up here. And let's see if we can get a, a little zing of apple in there. I like apple in it, too. I like Granny Smith's, too. I don't know if you... Well, I gave you one of those. You're to mix them or what? There it is. I will mix them, Mama. This one's open, good. Now she felt salt. bad about them seven she brought us. So sea she... salt and pepper croutons ain't been open. Well, I'll have to put those on mine. Mm -hmm. uh, seasoned croutons, what she likes. You don't like the sea salt and pepper. Well, it's been open, too. I just well, we open them because we eat different things. Mama don't like the sea salt and pepper ones. She does like the ones just called seasoned. Um, I like both of them. Most of the time, if we're gonna put it in the salad, I will um, just use what she'll eat. Let's get this apple cut up. You don't have to peel them, but this one didn't have them best looking. Mom, you want apple on your salad? A little, maybe. So. I it's wish we crazy. had some craisins. Some craisins. craisins. We like craisins. I like raisins in the morning. You got raisins? I've got raisins if you have raisins. Yeah, I'll put a raisin in here. I don't have no craisins. We gotta put that on the list. Well, I dropped it clear. I didn't know you had your hair up in a bun. I didn't. It's a chip clip. Sound like an elf. Well, that sounded loud, man. There's some raisins, but no. Raisins. Ones. They're going to have the salad fixed up nice, Mama. Mm -hmm. Taco soup. Catherine, I love taco soup. I have a friend. She makes delicious taco soup. Mama's not made it that I can remember. Have you ever made taco soup? No, you have. I have. Mine's not as good as my friend's. Hers is better. And I ask her how she fixes it, write it down, and then I try to fix it, and I'm like. Don't work the same, do it? 
I don't taste the same. It may just be one of those things where somebody else's cooking tastes better than yours. Might be. I don't know what mom was up to over here. I'm just gonna, I'm checking on the... You gonna come over here and talk to us tonight or you just ain't feeling that friendly? <laughs> well, you always tell us you don't speak to us because you're cooking, and now you're milling. You ain't cooking, you over there milling around checking, the cabinets. Checking on the lasagna the time. You was throwing chip clips, Mama. I accidentally dropped one. I didn't. I, I ducked because I thought you. Oh, you didn't duck. I thought you took a spell on us. And Mama, they said put apples in there. Oh, and here's did. some raisins. I'm having a nice bologna sandwich now, and chips. Fun. Judy, that's one of my favorite things in the summertime. There'll be some summer evenings that we'll just have bologna and go out and sell them back fortune eat. But if I if I got a bologna sandwich this summer on the back porch, I better make two, maybe three. You don't think she'll let you. Oh, there'll be no peace. You, you would definitely be sharing. There'd be some sharing going on. Is that six minutes or something? Six minutes, 28 seconds. And there is our salad now. Look at that. It's getting better and better. Let me take that to the garbage. No, just sit right there, Mommy. It ain't going nowhere if I sit it right there, I promise. Oh, I It'll be there when we... <laughs> Let's just do a little therapy. Okay. Let's leave that apple core, clean apple, we're fixing to eat it, in a napkin, lay right there and see if we can build up your resistance. I don't know, it's eating at me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. I'll put that right there until you can barely see it over the edge of this bowl. Mm -hmm. Does that help you? Yeah. Mama, we talked about it while you was gone, and we don't need two forks. Well, I can't keep your lasagna hot and your salad cool. <laughs> oh, that fork ain't gonna make no difference. Now, you can use two forks because you're fancy like that. Uh -huh. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and dip us up some salad. Yeah, that and that way, when the lasagna gets here, we'll be ready to go. I'm going to see if the lasagna is pulling or not. I'm take the cover off because I want the cover. Sorry about that. I love chopped salad. You, don't, you want what? I don't. I want my cheese on top. Oh, okay. It'll be a little bright, you know, melted down pretty good. Oh, I know. We like a little brown on that bag. Okay, let's dip us up some salad. Water flowers. Uh, Jabberbox is over there telling us to water the flowers. I have that set as a reminder, but really and truly, I remember it most of the time. It's me that the reminder. Mama don't remember to water them. Well, she don't water them. I'll say, Mama, have you watered that plant? Now, Mama used to have tons of houseplants. I mean, upwards to 75 houseplants. It's all those trees that come in on. Yes, ma'am, it sure is. Oh. I was afraid of. What did you do different? You didn't spray your... Well, here's what we'll do. Just take that off. Go away. Put us some more on there. Put it back in there. Oh, I'm just right. going to spray this on the front. I'm wasting that cheese. Ain't that much, Mama. It's spray your lemon full, folks, before you put it on there. Mama, I'm going to blame you for that one. Go ahead. We need the lid off anyway. and Put some more white cheese on it. Make it gooey, ooey, ooey. Well, this is very good. That's her second favorite sound, is lemon full and forks. We all know you noisy, Mama. You're the noisiest cook in the East Tennessee area. Well, you can crank it up. <laughs> I 
Watch it. Watch it trying to hold out a ground or two so we can have it. Put that in there on a little bit of broil for the next three minutes and we'll be eating gooey, delicious lasagna with a light brown cheese and it'll be bubbling and brown and it'll be delicious. Mama, you don't want no other dressing? No, that's fine. This is our sore brain Kurtz. It smells delicious and I did not shake this. That's the way it stays. I like that. It's like a creamy Italian and it doesn't separate and it stays nice and pretty. And I enjoy a good Italian dressing like that. But I don't want much. Gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of peppercorn on mine. This is the tricolor peppercorns. But I'm gonna do a little bit of the black pepper too. And I just want it to be uh, just good. I, this one cracks bigger than the charcoal one. Charcoal one kind of grinds table table brown. This is just a good crack grind. You want any? Just a speck, not like you have. No. <laughs> well, I'm serious. There's quite a bit. Say. Um, I thought, say when, madam. When? All right, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna choose, these are mama's. I'm gonna choose these also. These are the sea salt and pepper. We're not sponsored by New York, Texas Toast, but we do like those. I get those when I go to the food city. And these are, they have the sea salt black pepper. Should I want any? Let's, uh, here, prepare for the lasagna. I don't think you give it quite long enough, have you? No, but it's not on broil. I've turned it on broil. I don't think you quite give it. I didn't turn it off to turn it back on. Though. I've got the big spatula. Look at that spatula. That's too big for lasagna. <laughs> That's bigger than me. Well, we can have less things, folks. You don't want us to. Here's a little spatula. <laughs> Would this one work, Mama? That'll be fine. Or do you want to use that little one? No, that'll be fine. <laughs> I was just going to use one spatula full with that other one, too. Yeah, it's trying to bread. I, I bet Mama it. got that apple in the napkin when she was talking. <laughs> Actually, she didn't. It's still slaying here. <laughs> but just got it back on her mind now. And she'll be reaching over the camera. If you see an arm coming in, to it's Mama Landon. <sighs> Mama, yeah. this is just a one. It's like it's my birthday. That breakfast the other morning, sir. Everything this month, she's telling me it's for my birthday. My <laughs> birthday is not the twenty ninth month, but she's telling me the breakfast is for my birthday, the lasagna is for my birthday. I'm down with that. I'll take it every day for my birthday. I do her kind of like that, but I do get her real stuff. Oh, breakfast like that was real stuff. I'm telling you that. It was real, real stuff. <laughs> she funny. Hello, John and Mama. Hey, Angie. How are you? Uh, what are you doing, Mama? It's coming out the corner. I'm gonna, it ain't gonna be brown because I don't want that coming out my oven. Oh my gosh. It's serious. Wait. Let me get that. If it's coming out the corner, just leave it in there. No, I don't want it getting my oven. Like it ain't still coming out the corner, is it? Yeah, it was. Mom, I think it's just bubbling in the corner. No, I see it in the oven. 
It's Babylon. It's done. It's brown, Mom. Well, that's the juice kind of thought. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that bubbling. Yeah, I've got it. Bubbling. Cool I've got to clean that up. Now, the Mama, don't go over trying to clean it now. It's too hot. You're going to make that lasagna bubble. You don't need to be over there messing in it. There it is, folks. Let's let that rest a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> at least let it quit moving. <laughs> Let's bless it, Mom. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be Take it together, dear Lord, and we just thank you for your many blessings, your love, and your mercy, and your grace, dear Lord. So we just pray that you answer all the prayer requests and all the needs and the folks here gathered and the spoken and unspoken requests, dear Lord. And we just pray that you always lead and guide and direct us and where you have us to go in your precious name. We pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, Mama. It's quit moving. You'll have to cut it with a knife. No, I don't think so, Mama. I don't think I'll cut it. Oh, Mama. Oh, Mama. That right there will cut that like a dream. Let's see. Somebody got Deborah Everwars. I don't mention no names. It won't go in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get you. Well, that noodles are tough. I think noodles better not be tough. I pre-cooked them. That's right. I was saying you thought it wouldn't go in. Must have thought that's pretty tough. First piece of anything is always the hardest to remove. Seems like that way anyway, don't it? Mm -hmm. Can you get your plate? Yes, ma'am. I'm on it. Look at that. Look at that. Now that's good and hot, folks. We should have said a few more minutes. Well, yeah, in the, in, in the real world, we, well, we wouldn't. We, we might talk like we would, but we'd have grabbed it. And, we'd have grabbed it and started eating just as quick as we could get a hold of it because patience is neither one of our things. Oh, that's the truth. Can y'all see us? Now, look at that, folks. That's like downtown. That's just like downtown, maybe even better. Did you put dressing on your No, side? I can't get you to even. Shall I put it on there for you? No, I don't trust okay. you. Oh, oh, God, Mom. I see. You don't trust me. She's stripped. But I'm going to try to sell it first. Yeah, because that lasagna is not this far. Good salad. Mm -hmm. Would you like some black olives on yours? Mm -mm. Want me to get you some? No, ma'am. I left them out because I know you didn't like them. Now, a lot of times on salads, we'll put, you know, carrots and eggs and all that. But with the Italian dressing, I like a plain basic. Mmm. Here comes the lobster. That apple is good with that, folks. Good suggestion. What's that one I did over it to? Uh, yeah, it's it's um, cranberry apple chicken salad. Boys, what you get? Let's try this lasagna. You don't want the first bite. It's so good and simple. Mama don't mess around with it. It's just your basic lasagna, your sauce, and your cheeses. But she does put a lot of variety of flavored cheeses. As usual, Mama, it's perfect. Yeah, you taste the different cheeses. Mmm, it's delicious. It's not hard to make. You can make this for two or one, or you can increase the recipe and make it for 22 like Mama used to when we'd have the whole family over. She'd make two big eight, the uh, number 13s. You hit the spot, Mama. That's what I've been wanting. Absolutely delicious. My mouth wasn't big enough. Well, you won't hear that every day. <laughs> Do you need me to feed you? No, I just missed it part 
Don't you worry about it. <laughs> she loves when I do that. <laughs> Off camera, she tells me, I love when you pick me up. <laughs> You're telling stories. It makes me feel like you love me like Abby when you pet me like that. Mm. <laughs> what she really says is, don't be petting me like a dog. That's exactly what I say. And I hardly ever do it. <laughs> you do it that if we're done something. Oh. <laughs> oh, mercy. Abby's had the best day today. It's blue skies and sunshine. It was... It's about 50 degrees. She's played in the, the um, Bradford pears are all in bloom. And um, now they don't smell the best, but they're pretty to look at if you're on the inside looking out a window. <laughs> so she's been out there running and playing. I thought that's a perfect spring picture. I wish I could have got her on the picture, but she runs too fast. That she does. Can we have this every day? No. I knew what that answer was going to be. I Mama tells me. I don't want nothing every day. Mama tells me every once in a while. Well, um, if you if if I let you wait long enough, it'll mean more to you, and you'll like the flavor of it better. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. No, it ain't either, Mama. Yes, it is. It's just like you had good things happen to you all the time. You'd get to you wouldn't appreciate them. And so, you've got to have bad or different in order to appreciate the other. Okay, Mama. Mm -hmm. The salad is hitting the spot, too. You like that lettuce been chopped up, don't you? Mm -hmm. I'm not wanting all those croutons. I just realized how much bread that is. See, I didn't take them. No. Well. That's still quite a bit of bread, you know? Mm -hmm. If I wanted that much bread, I'd have had garlic bread. Not with powder. I put a little minced garlic. Serves the same purpose and toasted it. We could have splurged and not done that, but we got all this pasta going on. Mama, this lasagna is really. You don't have to eat it for lunch, too. Have to? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Force yourself. I'll force myself into eating some of that for lunch tomorrow. I'm proud of you. If you think I've really been bad, I might eat it for two days. Ooh. I mean, I'll force myself to. Do y'all love lasagna? I do. I love it. Mmm. This ranks right up there with my birthday dinners. Christmas dinners. I told you it's part of your birthday. Okay, I'll take it. Is it a like a warm up a preview? And we're gonna maybe have it for my birthday? That no. Mama. I might fix a roast or something. Oh. Um, Big and special. You no, know, you're right. If I have it now it won't be as important come my birthday. <laughs> Mama. You got anything else you want to add tonight? No. I'm glad you got your Well, answer. thank you for it. You're welcome for it. I do appreciate it. My mama's a song. Mm, it's good. Very good. I'm glad you're liking it. I do. Mama, if you don't have anything you want to add, say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you and God. Have a wonderful night. Y'all have a blessed day and a blessed night, and... Lord, we will be back tomorrow, and who knows, we might cook something else. We might eat lasagna again. <laughs> mm, that's lunch, Mama. You didn't give it to me for lunch. 
No, it's more than lunch. Two days lunch. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.